like a recent Netflix show or an iconic movie from a while ago. But since cameras are pretty much always on them, sometimes celebs are caught like a deer in the headlights, and we find ourselves discussing their recent wrongdoings. Like, remember when Justin Bieber peed in that restaurant's mop bucket? Yeah. Um, we swagger, man. It's times like that when we question whether we're supporting the right kind of people. Or it just ends up being a funny story. Either way, it's fun to talk about. Here are times huge celebrities were stopped by the cops or arrested. Starting off with a bang, did you know that Bruno Mars was arrested in 2010? Yeah, apparently he was having quite the time while in Vegas, and things kind of got out of hand. Uh, by that, I mean he was found with a bag of cocaine in a bathroom at the Hard Rock Hotel. No need to worry about the state of his criminal record, however, because the charges were later dropped. Mars, who was only 25 at the time, said that he was simply just young and dumb. And since he hasn't had any drug-related incidents ever since, it's safe to say that he's probably telling the truth. Speaking on the incident years later, he said that it served as a reminder that one mistake can take away everything you've worked for in the entertainment industry. Pretty grim, but also very true. Anyways, moving on to another celeb who got arrested for the dumbest reason. When Reese Witherspoon was arrested in 2013, it was kind of a big deal, but you'll never guess what the reason for her arrest was. Basically, she and her husband Jim Toth were pulled over by police in Atlanta because Jim was seen driving in the wrong lane. Simple enough, right? But I know what you're thinking. How did she manage to get arrested? Well, when the cops pulled over her husband, Reese was not having it. She got out of the car and began to argue with the policemen about whether or not they were legally allowed to tell her what to do on American ground. From what I understand, I guess he told you to get back in the car? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, the thing is, I know this is a free country and it's a... It's a yeah, she was eventually arrested for disorderly conduct. But honestly, she could have completely avoided the arrest. Does this serve as a good example of celebrities being entitled? Maybe, but if it doesn't, this one sure will. Remember when Justin Bieber officially fell from grace and began being perceived less as a little kid and more as a spoiled brat? Well, the big finish of that entire thing was when he was arrested and charged with DUI and resisting arrest. This was definitely a wake-up call for both him and the world. Like I said, people started to realize that he was getting older than when he first became famous, but they were completely taken aback by his behavior at the same time. With such a public downfall ending in his arrest, you would think that he was maybe a little bit upset when posing for his first mugshot, right? But no, he was not. In fact, he couldn't look any happier. That's right, JB posed for his mugshot with a hilarious and now notorious grin on his face. Even getting arrested couldn't get him down, apparently. But the aftermath sure did. Or at least that's what it looked like when he posted photos from the arrest in 2017 with the caption, hashtag never again. Okay, maybe that one's a little bit funny, but I promise not all celebrity run-ins with the cops are positive. Speaking of which, how many celebrities do you think have gotten in trouble for DUI? It seems like we've already mentioned it one too many times and we're not even close to being done, yet. But here's yet another celebrity who got arrested for a, yep, you guessed it, a DUI. Did you know that way back in 2007, Khloe Kardashian was arrested and charged with DUI? Yeah, it was in March 2007. And at first, she was put on probation. But after violating the conditions of her probation, she was sentenced to 30 days in jail. Yet another twist in this story comes when you find out just how much time she really spent in jail. Three hours. Yeah, she only ended up spending a little under three hours in jail because the jail was overcrowded, so they let her go. But Chloe by no means let this moment in her life define her or even make her reflect deeply on her actions. In fact, the entire Kardashian family can be found joking about the whole situation, posting her mugshots around the house and mentioning it as a punchline. 
Whether you find that funny and charming or juvenile and disrespectful, it's really up to you, but just know that Chloe doesn't seem to spend her life regretting it. But although she doesn't seem to be one for reflecting on her past actions, she also hasn't been in trouble for drinking or at all since the incident in 2007. Honestly, good for her. It seems she can make jokes about it, but also manages to keep in mind that she can't make the same mistake again. On that Kardashian-related note, almost everyone who keeps up with celeb news would remember that back in 2016, Black China was arrested. But did you ever find out what for? She was apparently arrested in Texas for public intoxication, but later she was charged with felony drug possession due to the police finding ecstasy in her bag. Later on, the drug charges were dropped, but most people can probably still remember the time when this was the latest news, especially because it happened right when she and Rob Kardashian had first started dating, which was also pretty newsworthy. Speaking of newsworthy, this next one was a pretty big deal back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean 2001. That's right, we're gonna talk about the time that Winona Ryder was arrested for shoplifting. The younger generation who know her from shows like Stranger Things might find it hard to believe that this actually happened, but it did, and it was incredibly newsworthy back then. Basically, Winona was arrested after she shoplifted over $5,000 worth of products from a Beverly Hills outpost of Saks Fifth Avenue. Pretty shocking for those who haven't heard, isn't it? She ended up getting sentenced to probation, served her community service, and received a fine. With some celebrities, their run-in with the cops ends up being the most noteworthy thing about them, or even just the first thing you think of when they're named. But with a career like Winona's, it hardly matters in the grand scheme of things. But what did matter was the multiple times Paris Hilton has been in trouble with the law. The first time she was arrested was for DUI in 2006. She was then arrested again in 2007 for driving on a suspended license. The incident in 2007 was when her infamously perfect mugshot was taken. But you won't believe what happened when she violated parole. When Hilton was found guilty of violating her parole, she was sentenced to 45 days in jail, but ended up staying less than a week. Yep, she ended up serving the rest of her sentence at home. Talk about pretty privilege, right? Anyway, were you surprised by any of these? It seems that celebrities really are just like us. They make mistakes. And they just so happen to have the unfortunate benefit of the whole world watching them while they do it. Yikes. Here's to hoping that they won't get in trouble with the law again. Those were sometimes big-time celebs were stopped by the cops.